Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition of two three digit numbers with carrying. Addition of two three digit numbers with carrying. So let's start with our first example. What is 437 plus 368? 437 plus 368. Looks quite tricky. The first stage of what we're going to do is to convert the horizontal format into the vertical format. So let's write that down over here. 437 plus 368. And we're going to label the columns. We've got units up here, tens and hundreds. So we have now rewritten the question from the horizontal format into the vertical format. The first thing we do is we add the column on the right hand side first. That is this column over here. So a 7 plus 8. What is 7 plus 8? Well, you should know this by now. 7 plus 8 is 15. How do we write this down? 1 over here. 5 over here. We're now going to add the tens column. So that is this column up here and don't forget the 1 over here. So this becomes 3 plus 6 plus 1. The 3 plus 6 is 9 plus the 1 is 10. How do we write this down? We put 1 over here and the 0 over here. And finally, we're going to add the hundreds column. And don't forget the one over here, which is 4 plus 3 plus 1. The 4 plus 3 is 7, plus the 1 is 8. We have our answer. Let's write it down. So 437 plus 368 is 805. That is correct. So even numbers which are large, as long as we convert them, as long as you convert them into the vertical format and do it correctly, add the columns one by one, starting with the column on the right hand side, it is relatively simple. Let's scroll down a little bit so that we can work on a second example. What is 647 plus 574? 647 plus 574. The first stage is to write the question in the vertical format. So let's do that. Six hundred and forty seven plus five hundred and seventy four. We can label the columns. In fact, let's do that anyway. The column on the right hand side is the units, the middle one is the tens, and the one on the left is the hundreds. So the first thing we do is we add the column on the right hand side first. 7 plus 4. 7 plus 4 is... that's 11. That's correct. How do we write that down? We put 1 here and 1 here. And now we do the... in fact we can even write down the units here. Now we can do the tens column which is 4 plus 7 plus 1. 
there's a 1 over there. 4 plus 7 plus 1 was 7, and 4 is 11, and then we add the 1 is 12. How do we write that down here? We put 1 here, and put the 2 here. Finally, we're going to add the hundreds. How do we do that? It's 6 plus 5 plus 1. There's a 1 over there. Well, 6 plus 5 is, we know that, that's 11, plus the 1 is 12. How do we write that down? We put 1 here in the new column, and we put 2 here. Now this 1 is part of a new column, and the new column is, as you well know, is the thousands. How many thousands are there? Well, there's nothing there, there's nothing there, there's only one here. And what we'll do is, we'll put a little comma here as well. And we have our answer, 1,221. Let's write that in. 1,221. And there we have it. 647 plus 574. It looked a bit tricky because the numbers were large. However, we came to the answer of 1,221, which is correct. We're going to scroll back up now. So therefore, no matter if the numbers are large, as long as you write them down, and we keep saying this, write them down in the correct format, you will be able to do addition of two three-digit numbers with carrying.